welcome to GG Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to make modelling chocolate, but not your standard modelling chocolate, flavoured and coloured modelling chocolate. Because come on now, who wants plain white chocolate when you can have any flavoured chocolate you like? So let's get started. Put your white chocolate into a heat proof bowl and heat in the microwave for 20 seconds, then stir it. Heat again for 20 seconds and stir it again until most of the chocolate is melted but you still have a few lumps and keep stirring for a minute or two until the heat from the rest of the chocolate melts the rest. I like to melt my chocolate this way because then I don't risk ruining my chocolate by burning it. As you can see my golden syrup is quite thick so to loosen it up a bit I'm going to heat it in the microwave for 20 seconds. Now is the time to add your flavouring. I'm using rose extract, just a splash, because I'm going to make chocolate roses with my chocolate and I want them to taste and smell of rose, but a splash of any good quality extract will do. Then add your golden syrup to your melted chocolate and stir until just combined, so you can still just about see the syrup. Be careful not to over stir, because if you do, you risk overworking the chocolate, which will give you hard, brittle, flaky chocolate that you can't work with. Trust me, I've done it many times. <laughs> Then lay a large bit of clean film on your work surface and pour your chocolate on top and seal well. Then leave to harden and set overnight. The next day your chocolate should be rock hard. Then break a bit off and on a silicone mat heat the chocolate in your hands to soften it up. When my chocolate comes together what I like to do is roll it out with my fondant rolling pin. I use a fondant rolling pin rather than my wooden one because the chocolate would end up sticking. I roll my chocolate out to test the edges. If there are any cracks, I knead it a little bit more and then re-roll again until all the edges are smooth. To colour your modelling chocolate, roll out your piece of chocolate so it's flat and place your chosen food gel colour to the centre then knead it all together until all the colour is distributed. Make sure to start off with a little amount of colour and add in more a little at a time to get the shade that you want because if you add too much first you won't be able to get it lighter again. Modelling chocolate problem number one. If you find that your chocolate is too crumbly, heat it in the microwave for 10 seconds to soften it up so it is easier to work with. Modelling chocolate problem number two. If you find your chocolate is too sticky and greasy, this can be because you've heated it in the microwave for too long or you've been kneading it for too long and the warmth from your hands have heated the chocolate. So to get it workable again, what you have to do is just put it in the fridge for a few minutes to harden and when you take it out it will be perfect to work with. Thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and like it and share. And if you want the written recipe, go to my blog ggmixblog.com. So until next time, bye!